Hello and welcome to the demonstrational video on the 2011 Auto Cruise Accent. Uh, we'll walk around the outside and then we'll go uh, and move on to the inside of the vehicle. So first things first, if you open the uh, cab doors on this model it has a blind on the front windscreen so you uh, unclick those, slide these across and that's the blind uh, for, the, for the front windscreen. Uh, it's got a magnetic strip across here and then they join together um, and that blanks off the, the windscreen. When you put this back, just make sure those clips are pressed together like so. Otherwise, this screen can come across as you're driving. Tire pressures are displayed on this uh, plate here. And then for these side windows, there's... Um, an insulated pad that goes onto these press studs here. So that's the, the insulation, uh, insulation pad and that blanks off these side windows. And as you can see, uh, it's got corresponding press studs that go into those on the door. So working on around the motorhome then, um, we have the electric step, the switch is just here for it. Uh, there's a table that clips onto uh, that section there and it can also clip onto this here so you can have that outside and the table is just stored away in there as you can see underneath the insulated pads uh, and it's got a retaining clip uh, and it clips in by pressing that over the top of this little rail here so underneath there we have a drain uh, for the fresh water uh, so that's just got a tap on the side and that drains out the fresh water. This is a, a waste outlet uh, for the um, boiler, so uh, the gas exhaust will escape through here. This is a vent for the fridge, so what it does is it draws cool air in at the bottom and expels warm air at the top. We've got an aerial on the roof there. This model's fitted with a bike rack. To operate this bike rack, you just pull those down, bike sit into there, and then there'll be a bar that clips onto this that supports the, um, so you clip a bar onto here and then that comes off and supports the bike uh, crossbar and that's how the bike is secured onto the motorhome. Moving on around then we have um, mains inlet. So your mains cable would clip onto there and that's how you get mains electric into the motorhome. Underneath this here we have the outlet for the waste water so that's how the you just open the tap on the side there and that's the outlet for the waste water. The toilet cassette is in here so everything that goes down the toilet ends up in this cassette. So to empty this you pull this out like so. Pull that nozzle across, open up the, the end. Uh, as you're pouring away the wastewater, press this button in here and that lets air in as the liquid is coming out of the end of this. Uh, to um, fill this with the chemical, this requires a blue chemical to break down the, the solids and get rid of the smells. You open up this lever here, pour the chemical into there with a little bit of water in the bottom and then it's ready to use again. Just make sure that that is straight like so, slide that back in, put the nozzle back into place and then just put it back into its uh, receptacle there. Uh, it does have wheels on the bottom and this extends up as a handle to wheel it to the disposal point. This is where the fresh water is filled. So uh, it does need locking, so you need the key for that. Just moving on to uh, the back section, we've got the gas locker in here. As you can see, there's two gas bottles already in there. 
this needs to be attached to the uh, inline regulator so it's already regulated just there under here there's storage for a table uh, and the leg there's a leg that just sits into there and then the table you can see how that fixes onto the uh, onto the leg once it's in place the bars for the um, bike rack are just stored away in there too there's a mains cable in there as well to make up the bed for this you use the table uh, the table sits across onto this bar here so you take that table out of there sit it onto this bar here use these extra boards to bridge the gap across here and then you pull this cushion into the middle lie this one flat and then that creates this area here into a bed so just here we have the controls for the heating and the hot water it is explained on this uh, handy instruction leaflet here uh, but basically it'll run on gas and electric uh, so to heat the to heat the motor home uh, just on gas uh, then it's that one there to heat the water and the motorhome on gas it's the next one down to heat the water only uh, then it's that one there on 40 degrees and that's electric only and to heat the water only on electric at 60 degrees it's that one at the top at the top we've got the combi system so that heats the water only at a lower wattage on electric only electric only at a higher wattage uh, electric uh, and gas on a lower wattage and electric and gas on a higher wattage but as i say that is explained on this leaflet here underneath that seat that i was just sitting on we have the boiler that's where the boiler is located there's a drain valve for the boiler and it's that yellow tab there now that's in the closed position if i was to lift that so that the yellow tab was pointing vertically that is the open position and you must drain this uh, boiler down in cold weather if water is left in this boiler uh, and it freezes it will expand it will crack the tank and it's an expensive operation to replace it so that's a very important valve and must be drained down the same thing applies to the fresh water uh, tanks so all, all the, you basically get all the water out of the uh, vehicle uh, if it's going to be left in cold weather because uh, it will freeze and damage the tanks so that's how you gain access to the uh, to the boiler itself and drain it down so next to that we have the fridge <clears throat> this is a three-way fridge so to select the power source the first one along you've got gas and um, so that will ignite itself but you must press this button here and then wait until this little red line goes into the green symbol uh, okay so we've not got gas connected here but you must keep that pressed in wait until the red line goes into the green line and then you know it's ignited uh, and once the red line is in the green section keep this pressed in for 20 seconds and then slowly release it and make sure that the red line stays in the green section and then you know that the fridge uh, has been ignited on gas and then <clears throat> we've got mains electric so you've got to be plugged into mains for that to work and then there's a picture of a battery that uh, will only work when the engine is running so that keeps the fridge cool while you're in transit it won't get it cold you must um, get it cold on electric or gas first uh, and then that'll keep it cold as you're traveling and then we're back to off uh, if you're going to leave the fridge for any length of time with that with it not being gone leave the fridge slightly ajar and there's a little thing there to keep the fridge slightly open so that it doesn't build up and get stagnant air and it'll start to smell next to that we've got the um, toilet so to use this open the lid up and th this little lever here pulls across and opens up the blade 
so it slides side to side open up the blade use the toilet press the flush button and that will swill um, the, the yeah, water around the bowl uh, and then close this back up and then it's it's uh, ready for transit when the cassette becomes full there's a little light that comes on there but you can actually see down into the uh, into the toilet itself this comes out as a shower head and goes into there clips into there uh, to push this back in you just do it like that push that back in like so and you've got your sliding door so we've repaired the oven door there was a faulty oven door on this so that's repaired uh, it is just a grill so you push that round to the picture of the flame press the ignition button but keep this pressed in as you can see that's pressed in you keep that pressed in as you press the igniter straightforward sink single lever mixer tap and your hob when you first um, fill it full of water you've got to prime the system so you fill it full of water on the outside switch this over to hot and then wait until you get a pure flow of water coming out of this because you need to fill up the tank that's in the seat there so the, the hot water boiler needs to be filled in, uh, in order that you can fill um, you, that you can heat the water that's in it so you need to fill that up first and then switch on the hot water otherwise you're just heating thin air so that must be primed by opening up the hot water tap wait until you get a pure flow of water out of there and then you know that the boiler is full of water ready to be heated this is your control panel so this just switches on on the main button in the middle so that switches on the water pump so as I said about priming the system you've got to switch that water pump on and then you'll get water through the taps there's no water in the tanks at the moment but um, as I say, you've got to prime the system. Um, so this will tell you about your leisure battery. Um, so because we're drawing power, it's not quite on 13. 13 is full and in good condition. It's got 12 and a half, so uh, that's in good condition. That's your vehicle battery. So it's indicated by this here that you're now drawing power from your vehicle battery. You don't want that. That's for emergencies only. So keep it on the leisure battery, which is designed to uh, give you power for the motorhome. Awning light for outside indicated here that telling you that that's on. Uh, view view your levels. Um, so that tells you about your um, wastewater and your fresh water, and that switches on your lights inside the motorhome. So fairly straightforward there. There's a couple of light switches you can in individually switch the lights on and off. Um, this um, section here will make a very, very small bed. You do that by pressing this lever down here and then this section draws across as you're pressing down on that lever. Uh, and if you swivel this seat around, uh, it'll make a very, very small child's bed. To swivel the seats around, you pull this lever here and that allows you to swivel the seat and it's the same on the other side underneath there is just storage and um, so it's just a handy little storage compartment uh, that completes the the video um, if you've got any questions i'll be happy to answer those when you collect the motorhome um, we're only a phone call away uh, once you've collected it if you've got any questions but i think i've covered all the bases there so we we'll look forward to seeing you when you collect your new motorhome